everyone. Today I'm here to do a tag. It's a tag video I stumbled across not too long ago. I didn't even know this tag existed, but I looked at the questions and it seems like an awesome tag. It was made a couple years ago. I don't know why more people to do it because I really like the questions in it and they're different and I just, like I said, I really enjoyed them. It is the bedtime book tag created by Kelly's Book Spill, which I will leave her link down below to her original video. But like I said, I love the questions. It all has to do with um, nighttime reading, you know, like right before you go to bed, which is when I do the majority, I'd say the 90% of what I read books so I thought this would be an awesome tag to do and yeah so hopefully this tag will resurface again and it'll go around more because I really like it. Question number one what book kept you up all night reading? I don't do that too much because I I, I get sleepy real fast at night time but there are a few books that have really kept me up way past my bedtime and I just have to recover the next couple days because I lose sleep over them because I just want to read them all throughout the night but the last one that I could think of that definitely kept me up all night reading is of course and Empire Storms by Sarah J Maas. I just had to finish this book. It kept me enthralled. I just want to know what happened, so I just kept reading. Way into the wee hours of the night slash morning. Yeah, it did, it, did, it did a number on my sleep. It really did. The next question is, what book made you scared to go to sleep? I don't usually read scary books because I don't like being scared and I don't like having nightmares from said books. But month I decided to do a spooky TBR and a video is right there and I decided to venture into some creepy books and there was one that I've read so far this month that has definitely made, made me scared to sleep a couple times because I was so worried about my dreams because of the book itself so ugh. and that book definitely is slasher girls and monster boys there were a couple of stories in here that really made me weary to go to bed like I was scared to go to sleep because I was like if I dream about this this is not gonna be a good dream at all so definitely this one for sure it had a couple of stories that really just really really scared me the next question is what book almost put you to sleep and I don't read too many books that I'm just like I can't fathom finishing this because I try not to if I'm if I'm reading a book and I am really not enjoying it I will say goodbye to that because I'm not trying to waste time but sometimes I do push through because I feel like there's sequels and stuff like that that I'm just like I have to read it it has to be done and the one unfortunately that almost put me to sleep is Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawking third and last book in the Rebel Bell trilogy and I just really didn't enjoy it I found it very boring I had to really push myself to read it and there were plenty of nights where I was reading it and I'm just like I just need to go to sleep because this is boring and it's just it's putting me to sleep quite literally. The next question is what book has you tossing and turning all night in anticipation for its release? And I have two for this and they both come out in November. The first one is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is one of my most anticipated books of all year. Eagerly, impatiently waiting for this book. I just need it to read now. It's like it's almost here and I'm just... I need it. I need it so much. And the other one is a memoir by Lauren Graham. I think it's called as Talking As Fast As I Can and another one that I just need and want and have to have. I just both both of those I'm tossing and turning because I just want them so much in my life right now. The next question is what book has your dream, get it, because dreaming when you sleep, boyfriend slash girlfriend. And the one that I thought of because I have plenty of book boyfriends, believe you me. The one that I keep thinking of honestly lately has been Gansey from The Raven Boys. I just I am such a sucker for Gansey. I love Gansey. He's got swagger. When I always think of Gansey, I think of swagger, just effortlessly cool, but still really awesome, but still really um, humble and just a nice, genuine guy. So I love, I love me some Gansey. The next question is, what book would be your worst nightmare to live in? I think a lot of people will probably pick this one because it's just a horrible thing to live through, and that would definitely be the Hunger Games world. I would not fare well in this world. It's like. It, no, I would. It would be a nightmare, literally, if I woke up and I was in District thir If I was in District Eleven, I'd be in the Hunger Games, and I would just be like, <sighs> it'd be the worst nightmare ever. The next question is, what book cover reminds you of nighttime? And I really scoured my shelf. There wasn't any that really like when I looked at them. I was like, oh, nighttime. One that really came close, honestly, was My True Love Gave to Me by These Are Twelve Holiday Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. I mean, obviously, it's nighttime. You have stars all over the place. They're ice or ice skating at night. It's just, I mean, this is night. Even the back, look at all those stars. This is the only one that really screams nighttime to me. The next question is, what book had a nightmarishly, I hope I said that right, cliffhanger? And there are some books I really hate the cliffhangers. There are some books I'm okay with the cliffhangers. One that was, I don't know if you can call it a cliffhanger. It was kind of just an open-ended question. To me, it was a cliffhanger, honestly, because I didn't know 
what happened. Like there was no resolute. Like they were, I just didn't know. That book would be Requiem by Lauren Oliver. It's the third and last book in the Delirium trilogy. And like I said, it ended on a big question mark to me. We didn't really know what exactly happened, what a person chooses. And I just really, it has not resonated with me well. This has been like probably three years since I finished it. And I still think about it. When I think of nightmarish endings, I think of this book. So I'm like, what, what happened? What did she do? What did she decide? Why do we not know this? Why? <laughs> the next question is what book have you actually dreamed about? And this one would have to go to, again, The Hunger Games. When I read this a long time ago, I read it at night and I dreamt about it and it was a horrible dream, let me tell you. And I, this is the one, when I think about books I dreamt of, this is the one that pops to my mind. And I do not like dreaming about this book because it's not a good, it's not a good book to dream about. It's really not. And the last question is what book monster would you be scared to find under your bed? I didn't pick any book for this because let me tell you, any monster under my bed would scare the crap out of me. Any. Take your pick. Take any pick. Probably ghost or ghoul or you know it was a vampire. I don't know if I'd hate that. Depends on the type of vampire. If like Angel from Buffy was under my bed I'd be like hey what's up? I'm pretty happy you're here. <laughs> it's just weird to say. Like you know any other monster so I would be just terrified. Terrified. So anyway, that was the bedtime book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like these questions. I thought they were very interesting and in how it coincides with like reading while right before you go to sleep because I think a lot of us read right before we go to sleep. It's just a thing we do to help us get to sleep. You know, that's our only reading time of the day. So I really enjoyed this tag. So thank you so much to, to Kelly's Book Spill or Books Pill. I don't know how you pronounce that one. Um, for making this tag, I thought it was awesome. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.